Hey, what's up, DCS crew? It is Monday, and today's episode of Pocket Real Estate belongs to this guy right here. Now, I haven't shown him off yet, uh, but rest assured, you will know who this is uh, by the time either by the time I announce it or by the end of this video, and you're probably gonna want one uh, because this is probably um, one that I would make a very strong argument for as a budget knife of the year uh, 2020, okay? So I'm calling it right now. Um, to my knowledge, there are two variants. Um, uh, they are both micarta. Um, this one is a special one that I waited a long time to get. Uh, but without any further ado, this is the QSP Penguin, okay? Now, uh, <laughs> man, this goes back to uh, SHOT Show, okay? And uh, the reason why I actually picked this up is because um, uh, I actually passed by the QSP booth and I got in contact with uh, David Kem, who is, um, uh, he is the representative for QSP here in the United States, but he is also a YouTuber that goes by the name of Blade Banter. And um, he also works with uh, several uh, reviewers in the uh, Apex Passaround group. So um, I got to go ahead and do two videos with him, uh, Eric and I, when we went to SHOT Show, and uh, we did a video specifically on fixed blades, and then I, uh, with Eric, and then we did a video specifically with folders uh, that was myself and um, and Blade Banter, okay? So we were going through a couple of the knives and we came across this one, okay? Now, I was flabbergasted on the video and I actually had to tone it down on the video because the truth is I was, I mean, I was smitten. This is such a nice knife and it's such a good knife for the price. It's ridiculous. The grind cuts are nice and clean. Uh, the jimping is on point, you know, it's not too sharp, but it is grippy. It's a great, you know, utilitarian, that Warncliffe design. Um, I mean, it's, it's you know, just the feel in the hand feels really good. The pocket clip is extremely deep to the point where it actually loops over the top and into the actual, it's integrated in between the liner and the uh, micarta itself with two screws that support it. It's tapped for left and right hand carry and for lanyard carry, just in case you guys choose to not go ahead and um, and use this, uh, you know, what the clip is intended. Um, I mean, aside from that, it even has these holes that are that are built into the pocket clip, so you can actually see the screw that's inside. That's pretty crazy. So it is a liner lock. It um, it doesn't have um, uh, skeletonized liners, but it's it's. I mean, it's a great great knife. Uh, you know, both in the pocket and in the hand. And I mean, aesthetically, it's a very nice looking knife. Um, the, uh, the the Penguin uh, is just a name that they have taken from a particular series that QSP is running, where a lot of their knives are uh, taking the names of different animals. And if you look at some of my previous videos, you may actually come up across one called the Puffin, which is a thumb stud variant that they have um, with a carbon fiber inlay, titanium handles, and S35VN steel. Very high quality, great pricing on that one, but ridiculous pricing on this one. I'll get to that to the, in a moment. So let me just give you the 360 on it, okay? I apologize if there's some background noise. It is laundry day here at DCS HQ. Things gotta get clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. There's a picture of nice close up of the blade itself, the spine, and the lock. Okay, now as I go ahead and I uh, measure some knives uh, aside from it, um, these are some just averages that I felt that would uh, would allow you to be able to see what the size is in comparison. Okay, so that's a Spyderco pair of three. Okay, this is the Best Tex Tex Cell. You know, the usual suspects that are usually on this channel. I really like these sizes, so you're gonna see these a lot. Um, here we go, the Tangram Vector. What else here? I have the Kershaw Atmos. CJRB Feldspar. And last but not least, the Brass Stone Mountain Knifeworks exclusive 
uh, Archeo, the small Archeo from Dylan Mallory and uh, Artisan Colors. All right. And now that that's done, I'll put one more huge guy in here so you can be totally thrown off by the dimensions. This is the Thule from uh, Reich Knife. This is their first uh, G10 integral. <laughs> I'll, I'll go into that another day. I'm actually really interested in showing that one out. But in any case, let's get back to the Penguin. Okay, so there are two versions. Um, this is the version in Blue G Micarta. I felt that was, you know, fitting considering it's, it's Monday. So, figure, you know, Blue Monday. Um, D2 Steel, Warncliffe Blade. Uh, liner lock. Uh, it is on phosphor bronze washers, but the cool thing is when I got this, this had good action, but I'm like, ah, let me go ahead and take it down, you know, clean it, kind of polish the, uh, the the washers a bit, and put it back together, see what it can do. And guys, I'm going to tell you, this action is amazing. I mean, look at that. That's, this is by far the best action I have ever, ever experienced with a knife that has washers, that is not something like a Benchmade or one of these little, you know, the Sog Terminus XRs and all that stuff with the lock. And even then you kind of have to, whoop, to, to kind of close it. This one is just, I mean, wow. Guys, if you have the opportunity to get this, which is a bit of a con, and I, I will get to that, um, I would recommend that you snatch this up. There's a brown micarta version, I believe, and this is the blue jean micarta version. You don't really see this very often, so it's a really nice variant that you can get. It uh, It's something that would work really well in um, uh, dress pants as well as just jeans and shorts and stuff like that. It's kind of a do-everything knife. And uh, get this, guys, okay? And this was the, 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 the one thing that kind of blew me away. For something like this, your expectation as far as pricing would be $29. It's $29. It's $29. <laughs> okay. And, and to make things worse, okay, to make matters worse, um, Drop actually introduced this knife on behalf of QSP with promotional pricing for <laughs> for $20, guys. This is crazy. This is like knock Civivi out of your pocket, knock Ontario rat, knock, I mean, everything, knock CGRP, everybody else, and just, you know, just tell them to go home because this is an awesome user. It's an awesome utility style blade. It'll take a mean freaking edge. The D2 is really good. It's a nice satin blade. The grinds are fantastic. It's it's actually pretty even. Um, I looked at the edge and the edge is not, you know, is nice and, and and center. I mean, granted, I'm gonna go ahead and reprofile it eventually, but you know, the deep carry clip, you got the micarta, which is a little smooth, but it's a little bit tactile as well. It's 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 like standard G10, and to, to be completely honest, you know. But I mean, look at that. Look at that. I don't know how many times I said that already, but you better look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys. So for 29 bucks, you can pick this up at places like um, Knives Plus. Um, and I believe White Mountain Knives had these as well. Um, don't quote me on other places because the truth is I believe I picked this up at Knives Plus. QSP didn't bother sending this to me. I'm like, yo, I don't care if you're gonna send this to me or not. I am picking this up myself and I'm keeping this. This is probably the cheapest budget knife that I would ever keep. Probably, maybe. I don't know. If they come up with anything better than this, guys, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna have to sell some of my Civivis. It's really that, that good. So um, that being said, guys, this is the QSP Penguin. And, um, oh yes, the one con that I can say about this knife is very limited quantities because QSP isn't someone that's sold through a lot of different um, <clears throat> retailers. So uh, with the exception of the two that I mentioned, it's gonna be kind of hard to pick this up unless they have another drop on, well, drop, or the company formerly known as Mass Drop. I'll say it like that, <laughs> kind of like Prince. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about this, feel free to go ahead and message me or message David from Blade Banter. He'd be able to go ahead and shoot you uh, a link <clears throat> and point you in the right direction for one of these as well. Uh, really, really high quality knife. Guys, this is the QSP Penguin. Uh, this is my tenant for uh, today's pocket real estate. I can't wait to do a, a, an extended review. I've had this for a little while and I just, I keep using this. And I don't know why I haven't done a review on it, but it, it, it will be coming. In any case, guys, if you can, go ahead and check this out. The QSP Penguin from, uh, well, QSP, quality, service, and price. Really, 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 I mean, just blew it out of the park with this guy. Um, that being said, thank you so much for watching. And just remember, guys, if it's QSP, you know, if it's Kaiser, 
Hell, if it's, you know, Western Active with the Honey Badger, just remember, guys, whatever you choose to EDC, with you EDC, take a DCS. I'll see you later, guys. Put this going in the pocket. Until tomorrow, take care.